Okay, so I've already set up what we're trying to do here. Pretty much what you're doing is you're making a document where you can have up to eight business cards onto one sheet of paper and have a minimal amount of cuts to make once it's printed. Um, but I'll make a new document and um, start from the beginning. So I'm going to make a new print-based um, letter size document. And I'm going to make it two pages so I can have a front page and a back page. Um, let's see. And I'm going to work in the master. This is where I'm going to set up the crop marks for the um, actual business cards. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw out a guide um, for the center, which I think is there. So the horizontal and the vertical centers. And then I'm going to make a box um, to the dimensions of my business card. So three and a half inches by two inches. And then this is what I'm going to use to set up the other guides. So I'm just lining this up. Um, just to the left of my center points. And then I'm going to drag over a guide from the left side to make the leftmost um, cut area, drag from the top. And so I've set up the space for two business cards there. I'm going to move this above that um, guide and make another one there. Go down below and do the same thing. And then over on this side, all I need to do is make that rightmost guide. So there I've got eight business cards, eight areas for the business cards. Um, you're going to probably want a bleed, so if you have um, business cards that have a uh, flat color, um, full bleed, you could, you'll want to bleed to extend that color past the crop marks. So um, I think a nice way to do that is to adjust the margins. And so just for an example, um, what I tried to do was have the top margins and bottom margins be the same. And then the left and right ones are the same. And so I get this, essentially the margins become the bleed line. Then the last thing to do in the master page is to set up the crop marks. And so with the crop marks, you're just adding those um, along each guide. And you obviously just don't want them too close to the corners because they're too close, then when you go to trim it out, you would actually show some of the crop marks. So I'm going to change the size of the line to 0.5 solid line. And I'm just going to click and drag to make a line. <coughs> and then I'm just going to duplicate this line across the top. I can select these and then duplicate these to the bottom. And then on the sides. Do the same thing. And I have this snap to guides feature on so that makes it easier to just drag and drop the, the lines. So now if I turn off the guides, I've got crop marks. Then what I can do is 
actually go to my pages and I did a business card yesterday. So let's say I have this. I'll just make this the right size. So I could take this and just duplicate it to fill in between the guides. And maybe you already have a bleed built in. If that's the case, then you would adjust for that. Um, what I could do is, since this background is just a solid color, is I could delete the backgrounds of all of these and then just have um, one big blue rectangle. If it doesn't delete all my stuff. Let's do it this way. Huh, okay. It doesn't want to cooperate right now. But what you could do is take a solid rectangle of the color and put that behind your business card. And so you've got a bleed in your cop marks. And the great thing about this is you've only got to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight straight cuts, and you're done. You could even take this and use um, the guillotine cutter if you're really precise. You could take five to ten pages, and as long as the printer is, is solid and doesn't mess up um, the centering, just cut them that way so it would be even faster.